loves welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know me my name is Katya for today's video I thought I would do a DIY I'm not sure if you saw my previous video I had done some pillows in my Koakaya store and I sort of got inspired for this DIY I was doing this whole patchwork on some pillows and I thought I would do something with patchwork but to put on my wall so patchwork is where my brain was at so I decided to do a wall art for above the bed and if you guys also saw in my previous video I had bought these wooden sticks and I told you that I can do a DIY with them and that's exactly what I did so I decided to finally use one of them and for my second DIY I had leftover fabric and I thought I would go ahead and do a lamp you know I love to do my lamps so I did two different styles of lamp two different shapes either use both or use one or the other but I wanted to create the patchwork as well in this DIY but before we get into the whole DIY part I wanted to say a big thank you to Simple and Opulence for sponsoring this video if you guys don't know Simple and Opulence they are a high quality home textile and accessories company, bedding, pillow shams, throws, so many things for your home. I know I recently changed my bedding but I love to have options and since I was doing my wall art above my bed I thought it was only fitting that I got a new duvet cover. I just love changing my room. I'm in there most of the time and me and my husband watch TV there. I know they say not to put a TV in a bedroom but that's where we love watching our TV and sometimes we actually eat supper there. We are not table people. We love to sort of cuddle and eat and enjoy, take our minds off things and watch TV in our bedroom. So that is why I feel as though it's one of those rooms that I love to change up and giving it a whole different mood, a whole different vibe in there. I think that sometimes changing up some wall art or just changing up small things like your bed cover makes a big difference. So I ended up getting their dark gray. I know it's not in my usual colors, but I thought it would give a whole moody vibe to my bedroom. So I went with the dark gray 100% linen duvet cover, and it also comes with two pillow shams. And then I got this super long body pillow just to create a little bit of dimension. I'm really excited. It's something different. I love to change things up. So a little bit about the duvet, it is super soft. The more you wash it, the softer it gets. It is cool, there's temperature moderation, it's super comfortable, breathable, it's eco-friendly, skin-friendly. It's all about sleeping well and being comfortable in your sheet, your bed. I said this many times, we spend most of our lives sleeping in our bed. So to me, sheets, duvets, mattresses, all of that is super important and they have such a great quality. They also have a certification of OEKO. TEX. All of their linens are made from 100% French linen. Everything is stone washed, which makes their fabric a lot more softer. If you guys are interested, I will leave their information down below. They are super sweet. They are offering you guys a discount code. So anyway, we're going to jump right into the DIY part. And so enjoy.
that is it. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. But before I end this video, I thought long and hard about sharing something. I was sort of having an inner battle of whether or not I should talk about this, but it's been bothering me. I have been getting quite a bit of messages saying that I am culturally inappropriate from the way I dress to the way I have my dreads, to the way I wear my turbans, from my jewelry to my home decor. So I just wanted to address this because I am a little bit hurt and I'm a little bit offended by it. And here's why. I am someone that loves to express myself through my creativity, through my fashion, through my home decor. It is something that I believe in. I think that a freedom of expression is everyone's free choice. So that's what my channel is about. It is about being who you want to be, having fun, playing dress up, being creative and standing outside the box and to not be afraid of being yourself. And I feel that when people make comments like this, I feel as though it is passing judgment. I love every culture. I am very inspired by different cultures from the fabrics to the colors to their art. I do get inspired and I think that as an artist, we get inspired from so many things. It can be from nature, it can be from people watching, it can be so many ways of getting inspiration. And I by no means, when I dress how I dress, want to offend anybody or try to offend anybody. If anything, I am so inspired and I would see it more as a tribute and not as a I'm trying to be offensive. If I am offending anybody, that's not my intentions and I will apologize. But one thing I will mention, if anyone does keep writing those types of messages, I will immediately delete it from my comment sections. I want this channel to be safe. I want it to be a safe place where people can express themselves, be who they want to be and have that freedom to do so. That's what this channel is all about. I stand by it and I will keep standing by it. So if anybody is taking offense to the way I dress or how I decorate my home, or how I wear my hair, or if I put a turban in my hair, then maybe this channel is definitely not for you. So I just want to put that out there. It's not to offend anybody or to, but I am just a little bit over the whole writing comments of cultural appropriation. I'm not trying to be anybody else but me. So that's it. I'm going to focus less on those type of people and focus on all of the people who have been showing so much love, so much support, so much acceptance. But anyway, I am so grateful for all of you who have been supportive. You guys have no idea how much you uplift me and allow me to be me, be creative and have fun and share all of that with you guys. Your comments mean the world to me. Your thumbs up. You have no idea. It helps my channel in so many ways. With that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Mwah. Bye.